Hello everyone, tonight we're going to be doing some Sims 3 as it's Tuesday night. And first first of all I've got we got song requests working properly again, which technically the only thing that was even broken was just my ability to have the overlay and you actually read out the song because the companion app was not working. But now, now apparently if I just open up two windows of it in rapid succession, it works for mysterious reasons. And also, found something quite... Worth noting, Oops. yes, it, tur it turns out, it turns out to, you know, we actually only need 10 classes, not, I think, I, I think last, last time I said 20. So you might actually already have the goal complete. I'll have to, I'll have to check how many classes Quentin has when we get in game. But I think he should be pretty close. Let me just pause the music and switched on over. Right there we go. It's just gonna be a moment. Then while it loads. Tonight, tonight might be a shorter stream because I didn't sleep super well last night. Like right, right now I have a decent amount of energy, but who knows how long that's gonna last. Yeah, will it will it last for the next like two hours? Two hours, who knows? We'll have to see how things look around like one, two in the morning. Which usually, usually no matter how poorly I sleep, if I can keep myself occupied, I can stay up pretty well. Well, uh, like it's it's only when I'm not actively doing something, like if I'm just thinking you're watching something that I sort of drift off. So let's just hope that you know, the game and the stream keep me engaged. Engaged enough for me to not start to doze off. Otherwise I'll just call it when call it a night when that starts to happen. And a bit too much. We should be fair, maybe reaching the end of Generation 1, which will be the end of Season 1 fairly soon, which I've been, I've been planning on maybe taking a, a short break from um, uh, um, The Sims 3, or at the very least from this household, to just sort of keep things interesting. Because there, there is a side story already that I've kind of got planned over the break between seasons, and to, to try out this new, this very very interesting new mod that adds an entire like functioning court system to the game. I mean, like, like the the Sims three continues to surprise me with how good some of the newer mods those are. Or like, 
Like, honestly, the, the main appeal that The Sims 4 has had for me at this point has been, oh, you know, people have been able to do some interesting stuff off of mods. But, like, The, the Sims 3 is kind of catching up in terms of, like, massive uh, quality mods. He's like, you know, you've got stuff like the, the randomizer mod, and now this is, this is go to court mod that adds you know, just strip an entire new gameplay system. So, see, we should have right, so tomorrow. Shelby, he is aging up to a child. And then a couple days after that, we're going to have a double birthday for Emery and Eileen as they both become teens. Oh, actually, it'll be a triple birthday, as Quentin will be he becoming an elder on that same day. Got, got another triple birthday coming. Okay, Quentin definitely needs at least one more class, because he only has nine skills. So even if he's taken the he can a class in every single one of them, you know he still only has the nine. And he kind of needs one more. You know that's that's a bit more manageable. And it doesn't look like taking a class is considered an important enough memory for the scrapbook. Okay. Since I have, I have it set up to where only important memories get saved. You can usually take Charisma at City Hall. It's already done that. At police Station has Athletics. He's already done that one, I guess? Wait, no, I think it's Handiness that you can take at the I think it's a PlayStation. You got a cooking class. Oh, he hasn't taken a science class, so that's an option. We... I remember we, we took classes in fishing, gardening, thing. 
alchemy and scuba diving. Class in science. And I'm pretty sure logic classes are also over there, so. I think, I think he's taken a class in all of his skills except for maybe social networking. Because I'm not entirely sure if there's anywhere you can take a class in that skill. can also learn to paint. Now let's let's just go for painting and science just to make sure we've got all our bases covered. Just enough money to be able to do that. Heck, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and grab bed. Head for Shelby. Just to make sure the he's got at least that. Uh, when she ages up. And I mean, just have feral transformation because, you know, full moon. She's just immediately going to bed because she's tired. So pretty much might as well just send everybody to bed. And we can continue everything in the morning. Seems. Seems Barbara, Barbara pissed herself. I'm not even entirely sure why. I told you. Go to sleep. I told you both to go to sleep. Like, looks like some of the first generation in counties are starting to reach elder status. No. 
Chino. The young adult pre-maids are going to be right around Quentin's age. So... You know, it's to be expected of the ones that didn't start at quite a young adult. And it says they're a, a little bit older. They're going to start aging up into elders. And apparently Dwayne Wolf is, Wolf is dying. Let's see, when when do we need to schedule this party for? Right. Quentin has work on Fridays and so does, and does Katrina. Like literally everyone in the household has work. Work on Fridays except for the children because you know they, they can't work. Actually, yeah, both of the both of the teens have work on Fridays. Looks like it's gonna be. So looks like the party's gonna have to be in the evening. If we're even that concerned about throwing being a party for if we're even that concerned about throwing like a full on party for Shelby. I'm pretty sure we've already had a party for fall. Like we could probably probably be safe with just you know skipping having a party for this birthday and then just have a have a party for our triple birthday. Everybody's he's hungry. And it seems. It's not impossible to get this child to sleep through the night. Oh no, Emery's already fully rested. Which I want to say, like, in a couple days, he's no longer even going to need sleep Even anymore. He's just going to be able to meditate all night. Like, I think, I think the brain power need is a thing that is unlocked. Uh, as a eighteen, I think 
Never mind. Edgar Helton. Having now registered that he's no longer a zombie yet, continuing to just munch on dead plant. Now he he's figured it out and is quickly going home. Let's, let's check to make sure we're not like missing party for this season. This. Let's just throw a party for Shelby, just to make sure that we get a party in sometime this fall. <laughs> yep, course, you know, the game's gotta let me know that, hey, it's Shelby's birthday, as if I don't already know, and I'm already in the process of setting up a party for her. Why is Quentin friends with this random child? Just invite every child on the list. Birthday party at eight PM and casual attire. We didn't miss anybody. Oh almost missed it. Bubba Sumari. Who who names her child Bubba? Like Like that's where there was naming your child Buddy. Shagorn. Fifty Shagorn. Like those are those are things that you say it's just like a casual form of address, not Which I'm pretty sure the word guy got its start as a as an actual name. So, you know. Okay. So that, that was kind of odd. Or we just kind of flipped into the counter right there. To do a fire breathing animation. She ate something containing ghost chili. And now, all of the kids have school to go to. Okay, for once, 
Because Christine's in an actually somewhat decent mood. She can just keep that up. She can actually be able to do her homework at home rather than having to do it all at school. So it looks like the adult. Adults <laughs> have, don't have to go anywhere until the afternoon. And Shelby is just sitting there crying for literally no reason. Work on late homework. Friends, talk to friends, and talk to friends. Yeah. Keep an eye on everybody, make sure they actually go to school rather than randomly deciding to just. Cancel the interaction and said go hang out outside. Oh look. Somebody decided to cancel the interaction to go to school. Oh and said and just hang around outside. Apparently Kit Fitzgerald is into Barbara. As is Taurus Ivy. Hiram Swain. And that that's it. Ever Barbara is into is interested in Chris Brown. She's not. Oh, she, she's into the ghost. <laughs> Now we can head back here. Oh, I didn't know her because having yet another failed marriage, and from the looks of it. She has not been able to keep a marriage together ever since one Quentin ruined. You never know. Once we move on to you know, the next generation, you know, the story of progression might bring them together or something. Since, you know, Quentin will no longer be beholden to you know, the challenges restriction of, of being a single parent.
you know, also, who knows how long Quentin's going to last. This past the, is a, the end of Generation 1, saying as how... It's only two days away from being an Elder. And the Elder life stage... It's a minimum of 17 days, so... I guess he, you know, he'll have a few weeks. At least, at least next generation. And like the moat. Most hectic thing will probably be he maybe the resort stuff. And we're only gonna have three Sims unless we have like a multiple child situation. And since we only rolled one child, else unless we have twins or something, then. Apparently, Christian is also interested in Zachary Wynn and Kirby Ho. Apparently, Barbara only has eyes for Chris. Christian wants to go to there's a Stephanie Ivy's after school. I mean, you're probably gonna have to go to work fairly soon after afterwards. Parents, but sure. But you know that might that might just be a lifer to go to. The Ivy House. Now uh, to see Taurus. Yeah, we're gonna have party with plenty of teens fairly soon. And with this triple birthday hey, coming up. Seeing learn that Taurus is rich. Taurus is not even here right now. Oh, it's gonna take him a moment to get here. Then he wants to go to Rashawn Durwoods. Sure. And everyone's go to Tina McDuff's. You know, car carpools are also coming in, so... I can at least talk to Taurus a little bit before she has to leave. Uh, 
friendly ask sign and then Then go to work. Oh, the apparently compatible signs. But funnily enough, Taurus is actually a Capricorn. <laughs> Yeah, we can't really take that any further at the moment. Why are you being so mean to just a random? Why are you being mean so mean to Emery right now? No fun. Like, what did Emery even do to you? But now, Quinn is almost done with work. And Katrina now needs to go to work. So I have to briefly call a babysitter. Call babysitter because we're briefly leaving King Shelby completely alone. Like, not even. What careers do the two adults have? Uh, Quentin is a, a fortune teller and. And Katrina it uh, works part time at the mausoleum. And has gotten done with work. Works so now I can head home and I don't even see the babysitter anywhere. Yeah, the, the fortune teller her her career comes with supernatural, but like by default it's pretty much only available in Hell in, in Moonlight Falls because that's the only because you know it has its own own specific rabbit hole all the way over here so to be able to add uh, have it in any other town you would have to manually add add something like this to another neighborhood. Unless you've got like a custom one that comes with it already in there. <laughs> Emery should probably head home. Oh, since he's getting hungry. Oh, yeah. I feel like. I feel like. Those get like a wish to have their fortune told, like pretty much immediately at the start. 
or at least mine usually do if I have supernatural well enabled. Like regardless of town. First guest has arrived and sent to start the party. These we need to grab a birthday cake. So it's time to for the last toddler of this generation to stop being a toddler. Black candles for Shelby. Hope that nothing gets in Quentin's way. If King Shelby to the birthday cake, like I don't know, an inactive child deciding to sit right here, here and play with the crocodile. Shall we real, really need some wake up? I'm completely unable to even cancel the interaction. Right, there we go, she's awake. <laughs> And of course, you know, in in the time it took, you know, to do all that, now there are people in the way. I don't, I don't even know who you are, Ella Deaton, but this is not the time. I'm trying to have a birthday party for my child. Okay, I think I've got to move the cake. Because, you know, this... John Paul Harden, then over here, decided to... That now is an excellent time to play with the crocodile at this exact spot. I mean, it could be worse, because like I've had, I've had birthday parties where I had to buy an entire, buy a new cake because uh, the, the birthday sims interaction with himself to you know, to have birthday got interrupted somehow. And so I had to do the whole thing over. Now we can... I get to choose a trait for Shelby because for once, a toddler in this household actually got all of their toddler skills. She's, she's grumpy and artistic. Yes. Probably not evil or technophobe. Angler could work because uh, the air, air for generation two is either going to work as a fisher sim 
or as a resort owner, not gonna make her a loser. Over emotional, loves to heat. Eh. Bookworm, easily impressed. This, let's see, outdoors. Now let's go for let's go for loves the outdoors. It seems like decent trade because like I'm not I'm not sure if this will even be the air. She needs to get home. So let's, let's just pop up Shelby into the makeover void. Need real quick. We can at least get rid of that, that terrible haircut. Artistic, grumpy, and loves the outdoors. Try to give her hair her salad. Nobody else in the household already has. Seems like this one's got at least like a weird effect of the wings or something. The tails with a bob is cute. Like maybe this one? Oh, these are actually just the same hair with, I think, like a different setup. Oh, the one where the hair was behind the ear. I oh, mean, this one? I mean, also, I think I think it's not even necessarily that's clipping so much as like the sort of like lighting effect from the wings. Things is making it look weird. All right, so let's you know, let's go with that one. And she's got, she's got actual like genetic fairy ears because she's the daughter of Dahlia Goodfellow. You know, in addition to just the actual like stuff that comes to fault with being a fairy, 
you know, she's got the genetics of a sim that was designed very much to be a fairy. Now, what do we want to do with her outfit? I completely forgot to check her favorite color. Yeah, so something artsy, something that's a mix between artsy and outdoorsy. Maybe something maybe sure like this. Blue white green need to match the wings maybe. Is that? Yeah, color coding with the uh, yeah, playing off the wings would definitely be a good uh, look. Maybe something like this. Because like that's. That's white and blue. That's sort of gray and blue. Like honestly, I think that I think that goes decently well. Not with wings as is. And yeah, maybe some shorts to match. We can even match up the shoes. And well, let's let's add a little bit of an artsy element and, and an element to distinguish her from other Sims that have this this exact haircut by actually using the like hair clips that clips that came with the haircut. Have all the, the green stripes that appear in the thumbnail aren't actually appearing on these socks, but uh, oh well. I think I think at least he's in terms of in terms of her everyday wear. Here, this makeover is complete. Like, like you think in live mode, you know, the hair looks a little bit better hair than it did it before. Now we can. We can get rid of this year of all the toddler stuff and pick up a nice toy box for her. has been working for who knows how long probably since at least the last time I streamed this that's because I don't remember it playing it all today I 
I don't remember inviting either of you people, so... You, you just kind of invited yourselves, most I think. <laughs> All right, and Eileen is getting tired, so she needs to go to bed. And Emery is already ready to sleep. I guess I don't currently have any other sims that maybe because like you know, Barbara has a similar haircut but not the exact same. I end up gonna actually set it. Yeah, this would be Shelby's bed. So you see only member of the household still awake. Now I've got just a couple days for triple birthday again. But hopefully, hopefully at least for a while, we won't have more triple birthdays. It'll be at most double birthdays because of Eileen and Emery both being born on the same day. And of course, of course, we have it not set to, uh, to have shall be sleep until all set seven a.m. So she's just gonna get up whenever she feels like it. One thing that I'm, I'm glad about is that the hobby or obsession generation goal specifies adults. Because otherwise, I, I'm pretty sure I would have failed it by now. Because, is it, like, I would have had to, I guess I would have had, I would have to at least have a hobby picked out for the air. As soon as I decide who that is. Which the current the current plan is still you know, once 
when somebody's he's about to age up to a, to a young adult will have a poll for whether or not that particular sim should be the heir. So we really need to send somebody off to run up to the laundromat. It's, it's so much laundry just piling up everywhere. I suppose we could also try and like honestly if the air doesn't end up being in Christina I'll probably like move everybody that remains like up one room basically like like Barbara will finally have a room with windows uh, is it the luxury that is reserved for exactly half of the children also apparently apparently some of these walls never got properly he redone All right, there there we go now now everything looks nice nice in those rooms Think, like you know, if we're still in this household after after Christina ages up, you know, we'll basically shuffle all the rooms around a little bit, and then maybe convert this room since it will be empty into a laundry room, so that we don't have to send Sims off to the laundromat anymore. Seems like Shelby likes to take a ding. Hmm. She's, one, she's one of the few kids that seems to actually like specifically go and dance. Yeah, maybe, maybe if she ends up being the heir, that can be her hobby, is dancing. She can just dance for five hours a week. Now we've got bills to pay for 103 simoleons. Save the game after all of this. It's only taking a moment. I don't save. There we go. See if we can get Quentin off to hmm. 
upgrades to the stadium where you take athletic classes. So you can just take the two classes available at the stadium. And then that should wrap us up for the generation goal for generation one. So from there, it'll just be a matter of figuring out who the heir will be. I'm just waiting for them to, for them to age up to you know, a young adult so he can get started on generation two. It's going to be another 800 simoleons to get these last two classes, but that, that should be 10 classes, so... Oh, generation goal is complete. So again, you know, from the, there it'll just be, be a matter of you know, waiting for us to figure out who the heir is. We'll probably have the first heir vote fairly soon. See if we're gonna have Christina as the heir, or we'll wait until, or we'll wait for potentially Barbara to be the heir or somebody else. Oh, well, it's well, later in the generation. I think that Christina's managing to actually work through her homework entirely on her own, despite being sad. You usually, if she's at all in a bad mood, I can't direct her to do her homework, but she's able to do it do it entirely on her own. So I get I guess she's getting better managing her you know mental health problems. Almost got our generation goal complete. I wonder what. Why does Christian have the hunted move? Like, where where is this unfriendly vampire? Because like usually that only happens when there's an unfriendly vampire nearby. He needs to go to work. But he's completed all of his classes, so. No, we should be good on that front. Uh, 
the carpool is just gonna be sitting out there her honking. Dang, but Quentin's just never gonna show up for the carpool. That's that's big. That's still left over from Emery walking in on her while she was showering. <laughs> okay, the, the pointless carpool has has finally moved on. Since since it's a Saturday, all of the kids are kids are staying home. Well, with with the exception of and of Barbara because she has work as a bedpan cleaner, cleaner at four. Now, now here here's some fitting workout music. We sports. <laughs> well, well, the few tracks next I have on the radio that isn't Red Box. Really need to add a bit more variety to that. But yeah, I'm just I'm just working with what I know. Isn't gonna get me any. Isn't gonna give me any copyright issues. Or at least I can be relatively confident. Won't because I mean, you know, no Nintendo could give me give me problems if they wanted to. Okay, it's nice, it's nice to see that the kids are bonding, because like, you know, they're close with most of their dad, and had an aunt, but not with each other. Or because you know, no, oh, it's entirely up to them to interact with each other another past the toddler stage because during the toddler stage unless you have like one of two specific well, one one like specific I think there's like a couple specific toys that two new toddlers can play on at once and gain in relationship that way
How are you? How are you sub? Uh, contemplating the hollowness of life because you need to pee. Like, like you, life may be an empty void, but your bladder sure isn't. Oh, and, and of course, the, toil the toilet's clogged. And now, now Katrina doesn't even have time to pee. She's gonna have to do that work. She's gonna have to go to the spooky mausoleum toilet <laughs> to let him pee. Or you maybe, heck, I mean, maybe there isn't even a spooky mausoleum toilet. Maybe you just, it, maybe there's just like one. One particular person buried buried in the graveyard that everyone in town hates. So the, just the consensus among the mausoleum workers is that's where you go to the bathroom is on that grave. But you know. Messing, messing about with graves is kind of a weird topic for Sims because, you know, they live in a world where ghosts are irrefutably, irrefutably real. Like, on, only the most determined skeptics will deny uh, that ghosts are a thing. Thing in this world. And, you know, especially... When you're in a town that, you know, has fairies and in this family in particular, an alien and werewolves. Also need to also need to get a hamper for Shelby. Smolians. <laughs> I was just standing here. I love how if you want stuff, Quentin Wilkes would like to go on a date. Nah. Let's <laughs> clean up the yard a little bit by. Placing all of these. <laughs> I 
He's ex uh, his university things into the, the family inventory. If Emery ends up being the being the heir, or you know his his hobby can definitely be something music related. Oh, we're we're having a power outage. Let's let's see if it actually working properly this time because I. Because, like, nothing seems to be happening when it comes to that, even though... Well, like, it was specified... On the, on the page for the random, randomizer mod that... Hey, you know, the power outage pin is properly working, but maybe I just don't have that update installed or something. Have to check, check on that. Tonight, so now, tomorrow we've got a, got the triple birthday party. As Emery, Quentin, and Eileen will all be, all officially be at zero days until aging up. Up at midnight tonight. Making a nice meal, though. You know, naturally, you've got some. Um, some have opted to just. Oh, maybe, maybe it's not such a nice meal. Maybe it's gonna burn. But at least it didn't catch on fire. Now you're. I'm going to make you eat this. Eat this burnt spaghetti. You should probably also see about, you know, getting a bigger table. One that has room for everybody. Since we've got a whole, we've got a whole seven, seven sims in this household. Well, I feel like it's rare to have like everybody eating all at once eagerly because I don't really bother to try and force or is it any kind of like specific meal time I'm on this household you know they just kind of do what they need to do whenever Dang it, you, you really need to stop walking in on <laughs> Hmm. 
Like, like that's that's twice you've managed to walk in on one of your sisters. It was in the shower. Really curious, you know, maybe, maybe it's just like a healthy curiosity with human anatomy because you know Who knows what kind of anatomy it, who knows what kind of downstairs makes up memory has being an alien <laughs> After all, you know aliens are by some means or another equipped to impregnate a to a male sims so I mean it does like, I think that's a technological thing and not a biological little thing because, like, they, you know, otherwise the actual reproductive mechanics would reflect that as well. You know, when you're working with, like, a full, no blooded alien. <laughs> like, you know, you know, healthy curiosity he about human anatomy or no. Still weird that happened twice in like the same like day or two. And like, you know he should be he should be like looking at anatomy diagrams, not not creeping on his, on his siblings in the shower. So, you know, we weird regardless. Yeah, you you act as though our our electric device the river not working. It was even so much just an interruption to the music. And what can be happening on a Sunday? However, that does mean that you have a couple Sims that are, do have work on Sundays, but it's in like the the late afternoon. So you can just throw the party in like the early, early afternoon, noon if not morning, hang and still be fine. I'll probably. Invite plenty of teens plus Hold on, wasn't I feel like something's off here. Because I could have sworn Quentin was supposed to age up soon. Uh -huh. You know what, I'm gonna 
I'm just gonna not worry about that. You know, I'll, I'll just kind of watch him tomorrow. Uh, I'll just watch him tonight. Which actually should be able to check. Let's see, week seven, day one. So that, so that means I've been seven weeks. He started as a young adult. Hmm. I think I think something I think something funky might have happened because Wait, hold on. This is the beginning of week 7. Yeah, I think I'll just... I think what I'll do is I'll just... Is it... Just wait until... Until midnight, and if he doesn't... You know... Go to zero normally... Then I'll just auto age him up because you know, put no, oh, if he's not aging properly, then he might actually be running late on becoming an elder. Right, birthday party, let's say for 1 p.m., casual attire. And if I, you know, good selection of teens. <laughs> Especially see if we can get Tars Ivy Navy here and Chris Brown. I'm probably gonna cap it out like eight. That's that's a young adult. Yeah, the, there we go. We've got, we've got eight teens invited to this birthday party. And save real quick. Which, you know, this might, this might end up being the last bit of the stream for tonight. Yeah. 
Clean and Clean sandwich after after one in the morning. So a lot of it's gonna come down to how long is this party gonna be? You know, for first, before we even find out how long the party's going to be, we've also got to wait till there's a little bit of time and we still have before the party. Looks like we've got a couple. We're gonna have a couple noble traits to select. We can probably start thinking a little bit about what goes well with inappropriate, excitable, and athletic. And virtuoso loves a cold and mooch. And of course, got another got another broken plumbing fixture. You know what, Karina, how about you step over here, let me see if I can get just a new table. Fine mode. Oh, he, here, here's kind of an issue. All the tables with more room are also going to be more expensive. Oh, the Twigs and Sticks dining table has room for up to eight stems and is only 735. I have been overlooking the Twigs and Sticks dining table this entire time. It's also the Great Hall dining table also has sufficient room for this entire household and then some. So let's go for that one. No, actually, actually no, let's, let's go put no twigs and sticks. The Great Hall one didn't really suit the vibe. Just get rid of that whole setup. Let's see, what's a... What's a nice chair we can get? Let's see, it's a twigs and sticks chair to go with the twigs and sticks table. Not, not when I'm seeing.
Right, there we go. We're just gonna find something to be intersecting. Probably got a. Emery's probably in the way or something. I think he might be intersecting with. I think it was intersecting. You know what? Let's just put in one last chair. We don't really need it per se, but it'll be nice to have a chair that you know guests can use, for instance. I guess the big question is, can, can Sims actually sit in these chairs that are directly right up against the wall? I'm willing to bet they can't. Yep. I called it. Now, well, let's see if we can just rearrange things a little bit. Yeah, move the whole living room set up elsewhere. I mean, of course, we can't, can't even just set this down outside because the leaves. You know what? We could have we could have the living room set up be up here in this largely unused space. We've got to make sure that it doesn't block stairs you can also really use some more furniture in the living room because you kind of only ever had the couch all right that that'll do i guess And then this bookshelf can go right here. And so now, now we see if you can sit in that chair now. Yes, there, there we go. All the chairs are equally functional. Hmm. I've got more, more room in this like main area of the house maybe maybe one of the things that we should uh, to get once uh, maybe maybe like the second room Like, you know, if, if neither Barbara nor, nor, nor Christina ends up uh, being the heir, maybe we, or heck, I mean, if we just end up with, uh, with the heir living in this house rather than moving out. Alright, so, 
Update number one. That should be Eileen. Because she's older by like a few hours. Because I remember Emery is specifically the fourth child. <laughs> oh, and of course, it's got to got be traffic problems. But none, none of them are affecting Eileen, so... I'm gonna turn, turn the music down a little bit. And here's Chris Brown just kinda... You know, ghosting around. And that... Nice thing about him being a ghost is that he doesn't... He can't cause traffic problems because he just kinda... He just kind of slides around um, through the walls. <laughs> now, now this, this is quite a scene. This massive craft. How did I... I should accidentally unpause. You know, honestly, this is even better. Right, Eileen, excitable, inappropriate, and athletic. Thanks. Why? What goes well with? Is those traits maybe maybe good sense of humor? Kissing probably not. Great kisser, eh? Hopeless romantic, loser, charismatic, mean spirited. Yeah, let's go for good sense of humor. Then, just move this cake out of the way. Okay, so that we can start on the other birthday that has to happen today. Just as soon as people start to clear out of the way. Good. People are starting to clear the way so that Emery can also also you know have his birthday. Crowded around significantly less, and of course, because he had a somebody age up to a teen, named the university mascot is here. At least we only have to deal with that once more this generation. Then, when Shelby ages up to a teen, and heck, I mean. She's so much younger than, than the rest of the, the household that, you know, we might have moved on to the next generation by the time she even, even gets there. The angler, eh, late sleeper. 
Does Light Sleeper even affect aliens? Because they have the brain power thing. Good. Insane. Loves the heat. Gatherer. Does Gatherer affect fishing? No, I think it, I think it just affects crops. Which means crops could also be useful because as we're gonna buy due to the miscellaneous fun, we're likely going to have to do some gardening in next generation. Like play we're again over emotional, sailor, friendly, proper, grumpy, green thumb. You know, might not give him a green thumb. He technically already has one anyway. I think he has a couple. You know, maybe... You never know, maybe instead of music, his hobby is gardening. Alright, so let's see... Time to enter the makeover void with Eileen and then actually I'm gonna save real quick. Oh I actually can't because somebody is technically still having a birthday. Now, now I can save, and then I'll pop into the makeover void with both of the new teens and get them set up with their with their new looks for this life stage. Although, honestly, like, like, Emery already looks decently put together. Here, let's see. Alright, into, into the makeover void with Eileen. She, see, she's inappropriate, excitable. Well, has a good sense of humor. What else was it? Just real quick check, because I also didn't check her favorites. She likes pop and the color white. Oh, and her other... Her other trait was he was athletic. So let's see. I'm not sure if any of these are the, so for jumping out is you know, something that you know somebody who's into pop music and is inappropriate, excitable, has a good sense of humor and is athletic. Nick would wear. I'm not entirely sure what exactly that head entails. I 
Honestly, like I feel like a combination of an inappropriate and good sense of humor would lend well to wearing maybe some kind of like garish pattern. Like you know, ha having an intention, like maybe having an intentionally like poor fashion sense. For the sake of it being funny, you need to look like an absolute train wreck. So, you know, maybe. maybe <laughs> uh, yes this is that this is absolutely like Like, you know, dr dressing, dressing terribly, but doing it for the sake of irony. And what kind of hairstyle should she have? I feel like she could do well with short hair. Ooh, you know what? Nah, nah, I think she, I think she'd limit the, the absolute her absolute garbage fashion choices to her clothes because that's a little less long lasting. Like, I feel like she'd go with something nice, but low maintenance. You know what? That work. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that'll do. Oh, I actually could. Uh, let's actually pop back into the makeover voyage to give her some makeup. Probably. Because I feel like this look is incomplete without some just like incredibly over the top make, like fawn raccoon eyes.
And like honestly. In a lot of ways, she's also kind of. This is also kind of a jab at Heather Barbara. Because she's doing the whole punk thing, but completely sincerely. So. Like, like honestly, kind of a jab of both you know, the Barbara and, and Katrina, for that matter, because it's just like ironic, like, like party goth train wreck. Let's see. Now, Emery likes classical music, the color pink. He's a virtuoso, loves a cold, has a green thumb, and is a mooch. And I think he also gained a tiny little, little green goatee. <laughs> Which... Yeah, yeah, he genuinely has a little green goatee. Let's just shave that abomination up the head right off. Because like aliens tend to, because like the aliens tend to be like pretty hairless. Yeah, as much as I didn't give him the proper trait, you know, instead of opting for green thumb, which honestly, maybe I should have gone proper. Yeah, I can do that and if he does well enough in, in high school, and I'm still in control of him when he ages up. Yeah, like... We got kind of a suit jacket look. Look, maybe. Hmm. I think that I think that will do fine. Just gotta find a nice pair of pants. Unfortunately, they're proving to be hard to come by. I guess these are fine. A little like leathery looking, but you know that's that's also kind of just this game's obsession with making everything look glossy. Me when it really doesn't need to need to be. So let's actually create a style. Yeah, now it looks kind of like he's got sort of a very business casual like suit look going on. Like, you know, somebody who almost became proper but then didn't. Because, you know, if he, if he had the actual proper trait, then he would be... He... You know, walking around in his formal wear all the time. I'm just like his dad. Ben said this is just... He's got vaguely formal...
A little everyday wear. All of this cake. So much cake just littered everywhere. I mean, there's so much food just everywhere. It's practically every guest seemed to bring full, like, family size serving of food. Oh, apparently Chris Brown is into Eileen. <laughs> Meanwhile, Barbara is into him. It has not been specified whether it's mutual. So you never know. Oh, and Eileen might be about to swoop in and not only not only kind of rip off Barbara's style, but also steal her heal, heal her crush right out from under her. Ask sign. Hmm. Do you think Taurus either has already left or was never here to begin with? Or apparently, Chris Brown is a is a Scorpio. you consider attractiveness you see see exactly how attractive you think you think this ghost boy is hmm. oh she thinks he's gorgeous an eight out of ten But, you know, Chris hasn't shown any interest whatsoever. So it could all just be entirely one-sided. Alright, looks like, looks like the party is winding down. Yep, Quentin's party was a modest success. The guests feel good at, about having attended. Oh, and apparently, apparently left the lamp outside. Let's bring that back in here. Unfortunately, the rain doesn't seem to have affected it. Hmm. 
I mean, I don't think... I don't think lighting fixtures can even break and take in this game, so... Graham Swain, Broderick Maldano, and Alicia Musgrave is into Emery. I wonder where does it, where does mooching food fall under the homemade restriction? Because like I know it says no quick meals. But yeah, I think I think it probably I think it probably would have a problem with that. Uh, because you know, it includes stuff like quick meals. Hills and even birthday cake is being not homemade enough. Enough to count. They're putting some of this extra food that's piled everywhere there on the fridge. I'm just gonna save real quick because I saw a concerning lag spike. I think it might just go until. Midnight in game to see if Quentin is glitchy or if I just miscounted. So I can just go ahead and age him up if, it, if it's a glitch. <laughs> yeah, gotta wait for for another five in game hours for be able to know for sure whether anything glitchy was happening. And it looks like the Quentin has not. Also, we can can get rid of toy chests because. Their owners have aged out of them. I guess, I guess Shelby will, will have time to, you know, to catch up with everybody else, else decently quickly. But actually, it looks like we'll have a double birthday for Christina and Shelby. So it looks like, depending on who ends up being the heir... Like one of the one of the last things we see will be Shelby aging up up to a teen. Depending on one who ends up being the heir and two who ends up who where the heir ends up going, whether they're 
gonna just kind of inherit this house or are going to be moving out elsewhere which means since since Quentin and Christine will still be alive at that point I mean I'll probably And probably just have the air move out to a new new lot. <laughs> Being a lot of it's dependent on funds as well. <laughs> so maybe you should get Emery and Eileen jobs as well. You maximize the additional funds we can get. <laughs> oh, now, now suddenly Emery cares about privacy when it's his privacy. Not him just casually walking in on people. And people in the, they're in the shower. I guess we should also just get a feel for, you know, how much will it cost to move somebody out? Because, like, you know, at the very least, for one thing, that, that's something to keep in mind when it comes to choosing an heir. But why am I following Stanley... Mainly good fellow. <laughs> push, push. Don't have a job. Quentin, why are why are you lying on your your daughter's bed reading a book? Soon, we should have confirmation on to whether or not Quentin's glitching. It's like I feel, I feel like he might have just not aged properly. Because I'm pretty sure all of them, it could be weird if it was just him. Okay, good. It is just something that I miscounted either that or it was just like a brief glitch. has since resolved itself. That's that's gonna do it for me tonight. Thank you to everyone who stopped by night for the stream tonight. Next some three stream is planned for next Tuesday night, which will be the the twenty seventh. And next stream in general is planned for Thursday night, which is the twenty second with the Crusader Kings 3. But for now, let's see who else is live <laughs> in the Sims 3 category. He's like, send y'all off to somebody else. Failing that, I might, I might check like Sims 2 category and whatnot.